Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to implement a um, microprofile service, run it on Payara, and use JSON Web Tokens for authentication. And I'm going to use Payara Fish uh, or Payara Server is the uh, is the uh, largest downloadable uh, server. So it's not the uh, micro, and it's also not the web. It's the full. And I would like the Jotunizer, uh, this Jotunizer.sh, uh, for uh, token generation. So I will need token in order to um, authenticate. Um, so let's start with the project. Uh, I would like to start with Jakarta project and call it Payara JWT. Um, done. Then I would like to start the Payara. And um, I would like to open the editor. So, so this is the project. It's just a uh, project which uses uh, um, microprofile 3.0 and Jakarta E8 API. We don't need the Jakarta E for now, but um, yeah, it doesn't have an impact. So um, we also don't need the config property. What I would like to do is just to uh, do the following. I would like to inject the uh, JSON Web Token, JSON Web Token, token and also inject the um, that uh, principle principle and then return the principle name and this works with principle dot get name as well as all the groups and uh, token there is token get groups get groups Okay, so this is all we need, and I will have to say roles allowed. Only hacker can do this. So only the hacker is allowed to access this uh, method. And what I also have to do is I have to say this is uh, to set up the login config and say auth method, and this is the method is mpjwt, microprofile jwt. So we are actually ready to go. What I will have to do is to deploy the application. And to do it, I would like to do it from with what sh. This is just a tool which watches the changes, uh, performs Maven clean install, and copies to all servers I have installed here. And one of them is Payara. So we have that, and now I need a token. So uh, I would use the Jotunizer to uh, create a token. So um, now I have the token. And what I can do, I can use the generated curl to call the server. So let's do this. So go here and say, okay, I would like to call, uh, what is the URI Payara uh, JWT, Payara JWT slash resources slash pink. And um, what we see, it's not authorized. And the reason for that is because uh, we have here micro profile config and there is no public key. So um, what uh, the Jotunizer also does, it generates a microprofile config with included uh, issuer and public key. So I will have to use this, uh, put it the microprofile config. We don't need this anymore. Save it. And now it should work. As you can see, Duke hack achieved. So it works. So now let's try to break it again and say, uh, I need uh, rose allowed micro. So now, if I try it again, I get, uh, I was too fast, uh, forbidden, which is uh, uh, as it should be because I don't have the role, role micro. What I can do, um, so the Jotunizer reads a JSON, um, Jot, uh, sorry, Jotunizer config from the command line, and uh, here, Jotunizer token from the command line, and I can specify which roles would I like to have. And um, I would say, Micro is not nice, and let's say the UPN is uh, now mighty Duke. So this is the uh, principle. So now try that. So I would rerun the uh, Jotunizer because the token changes, of course. I would just like to re-execute the token again. Payara, JSON Web Token, Resources, and Pink. And it should work again, and it works. So we have mighty Duke is the principle. And Hacker, Micro, and Chief are the groups which are uh, automatically mapped to roles. So the interesting part is our uh, thin war is still 4K. So there is no configuration, no deployment of scriptos, nothing. We only need 
the, uh, the minimum configuration off. We need the issuer and we also need the public key and of course a JSON web token. And the JSON web token is usually provided by single sign-on infrastructure like for instance Keycloak. So uh, thank you for watching and see you at AirHacks conferences or projects. So thank you and bye.